Okay, so this is how you make changes to your website. Okay, so first of all, you'll click on the link that I've sent you. Um, and when you do that, let me just take you back to the beginning here. One second, let's start again. You'll click on this link here. When you go onto that, you'll be asked for a username and password, which I will give you. And when you put those in, you'll be taken to this screen, which is the, um, the admin area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a copy of the site normally so we can see how it looks. And I'm going to open the admin section on a different tab so we can make some changes and then see it on the live site. Okay. So first things first is if we click into pages, you can see these are the different pages on the site. Okay, so we click into the home page, for example. You can see text here. Now, this text is in code. You don't want to be editing in code. So, what you need to do is make sure you click visual. If you do that, then you can edit in the same way that you can on Word. And you'll see that that text there is the text there. Okay. When you've made any changes that you didn't need to, you click update. Okay. Um, next thing to look at is services. As you can see, <clears throat> we've got a few different services here. So if we click on artificial grass, for example, and we'll click on artificial grass on the site. You can see you've got text here. So you need to change that because it's Latin. And you've got a image here. Now, this image has been uploaded incorrectly, and I'll tell you why. This is a square image that has been stretched to fit a rectangle. And I've done that on purpose to show you what will happen if we don't use correct banner images. Okay. So if you look at this image, it's a square pretty much, 272 by 242, pretty much square. It will not work for what we want. What we want is images like this, where it's 1366 by 768, because they are more rectangular. Okay. Um, you can upload your pictures and stuff there. When you're done, click update and that will save it. Okay, and that's how you do all your services. The portfolio section is your image, is basically your gallery. And if you look at these, these are the eight images we've already got in there. So you can click into those eight images, delete them, change them if you want. If you want to add new images, then click back on your portfolios and click add new. Give the image a title. Now we've just been calling them image nine, portfolio nine, etc. But you might want to call them exactly what the image is so you know which one it is. So you might call this one Garden I completed in London, for example. And then set your featured image, go to upload files, select files, and then select from where, uh, select the images from your computer. So they're in your desktop, your documents, etc. When you're done, click set featured image. And always, always make sure you click publish or update, which is always this little blue button. Very important, because if you don't click those uh, update or publish, then whatever change you've made on any of these pages will not be, um, will you'll not see on the front page of the website. Okay. Um, and that is pretty much how you do um, your site. The, the About Us page, for example, works exactly the same way. Text, image. So you just need to go in, and make the changes. That's it.